Hello and welcome to another Level Best video with me, Colin. Today we're going to be looking at a film review blog by one of our service users, Ryan Bulkwill. He's always had an interest in reviewing what he sees on TV and the internet, films, TV programs, as well as video games. We decided to help Ryan set up a WordPress blog, which Ryan has been filling in for quite some time, pretty much every day. It is called RDB Reviews. In order to find it on Google, you want to type in RDB Reviews Ryan Bulkwill. As you can see, quite a few hits for RDB Reviews Ryan Bulkwill. Let's have a look at Ryan's page. The man himself, this is Ryan wearing a Mexican wrestler's mask at Level Best Art Cafe. What we're going to do is have a look at one of Ryan's reviews today, and we're going to talk to Ryan about it after we've had a quick look at it. Looking at what Ryan has posted recently, these would have been done in the last few days or weeks. So we've got lots of Disney Plus content. Ryan was saying recently that he's got a Disney Plus account. When Ryan does this kind of thing, when he looks at modern Disney content, he often likes to do what he calls a throwback review, which is wonderful. This is where Ryan looks at the origins of something. So here, Toy Story the First from 1995, reviewed by Ryan from now. Uh, he's had a big interest in South Park recently, and I'm aware that he's watched an original documentary series, Tiger King, Murder, Mayhem and Madness, reviewed by Ryan Bulkwill. He's put here spoiler free, which is something we've encouraged Ryan to consider if he's reviewing content that other people haven't seen. You must make sure to tell people whether it's got any spoiler alerts or whether it's spoiler free. He's telling people this one is fine. The genre is true crime and documentary, so if you're interested in those concepts, Ryan's already told you this is something you might be interested in who it's directed by, who it's starring. Ryan researches this with Wikipedia and IMDB and other resources. The plot. The zoo owner spirals out of control amid a cast of eccentric characters in this true murder for hire story from the underworld of big cat breeding. Right, I'm already interested. Ryan then says, I find the plot to this documentary to be very fascinating. Uh, this show is insanely entertaining. So this is looking very positive so far. Uh, Ryan says, I'd like each episode, the pacing for this show is like surprise on top of surprise on top of surprise. So that sounds good. Uh, there was too much adult content for younger viewers uh, to skip this documentary uh, to the next scene. So he's saying it's not suitable for kids. Uh, I didn't like how they treat these animals, uh, how the animals are treated in ways everyone in this show had done. So he's saying everyone has treated the animals badly. At times they can be a hard watch. So again, it's a true crime documentary. So remember, this is not probably playing for laughs. This is going to be adult content, as Ryan has said. Upsetting at times, but insanely entertaining and very fascinating. So, great. Ryan has really piqued my interest for this. I might give it a watch. What Ryan has very diligently done next is he's done cast and crew, and he's given you a complete breakdown of the cast. You can see he's even got here who the music is by, the cinematography, so if you're a film buff, you will appreciate Ryan's detail, making this information very accessible. If you're not, you probably want to just keep skipping on down. And at the very end, Ryan says, I recommend this show on Netflix. So he's doing another thing we discussed. It was a good concept or a good idea when you're doing a review is mention where people can find it, where they can get this content. Because there's nothing worse than hearing a great review about something and going, I'm interested, and then finding you can't see it on any screenings anywhere near where you live. Ryan then rates it 8 out of 10. Ryan Bulkwill, resident film reviewer at Level Best Art Cafe. Right, we're going to have a chat with Ryan about original documentary series Tiger King and get some more of his feedback. Right, welcome everyone to this interview with Ryan Bulkwill, the yeah. author of RDB Reviews. Um, Ryan has written yeah. a film review about Tiger King, which is an original Netflix series, which we discussed in the last video. And Netflix uh, which all documentary series Netflix, original documentary series sorry thank you ryan uh, so ryan has written a review about this documentary series and we're going to ask ryan some questions about it now so ryan i have your review in front of me on my screen yeah. and um i'm just going to read the plot again uh, so you've written a zoo owner spirals out of control amid a cast of eccentric characters in this true murder for hire story from the underworld of big cat breeding Fascinating. Mm. Uh, what yeah. made you? What made you want to watch this program, Ryan? Well, I would say it's just pretty much everyone talking about it. Okay. Yeah, and also, I've been hearing a lot of people like hearing a lot of stuff about it. Well, this that's just made me feel like. Okay, time to um, just watch it, see what I think. 
Okay, great. So you'd heard it word of mouth or it was being advertised and you wanted yeah. to see what it was like. And the first thing I've seen is one of the small tigers, a big baby ones. Yeah. With a blooming child on top of it. Uh, okay, so this is an example of uh, big cat breeders using cats uh, for entertainment and, uh, you know, people's uh, holidays in a very irresponsible and um, inhumane yeah. uh, way. Okay. So how many episodes, Ryan? How many episodes does the program have? Uh, well, it's the actual series. It's actually got seven episodes. Mm -hmm. But they got one more, which is the um, after show. Okay. Which is basically everyone on the main cast is um, on Skype. Because everyone's on quarantine. Right, okay. So the series is very uh, modern. So it was being made up into uh, lockdown, was it? Well, well, like, probably not months before lockdown began. Okay, it was filmed before that. Does each episode follow the previous episode? Is it one big story? It doesn't really follow one particular story. Mm -hmm. It follows like different, like a uh, different individual each time. It still comes back to Joe being a complete lunatic. Okay, this is Joe Exotic, who is the person yeah. that you've chosen the image on your review. So yeah. he's like the main character, is he? Yeah. Okay, it, can I ask, is he the zoo owner or is he the cat breeder? Um, I think he's like the zoo, re zoo breeder. <laughs> In your plot, you say a zoo owner spirals out of control and then oh, yeah. cast eccentric characters. So is, is Joe Ex Exotic the zoo owner? Yes. Okay, interesting. Okay, so all the eccentric characters are lesser characters than he. He's he's the main character. Yeah, and the others are his helpers. His helpers, okay. Is he the bad guy? Um, well, looks like he is a bad guy. Okay, remember, well, we don't want to spoil the plot, but uh, well, it's a true crime, sorry, it's a well, true crime documentary, as you say in the genre. No, you're fine. Nothing's been spoiled yet, Ryan. Uh, I was just assuming there is a bad guy because it's a crime documentary. So, yeah. Uh, does it follow the police or the animal welfare people? Yeah. Okay. I'm well, trying to track in, like, probably questioning, like, his actual care for these animals. Yeah. And probably, um, He's just using it how far he, certain people, he couldn't show himself, how far he will go for fame and attention. Right, okay, fame and attention. So that's what he's in it for. Mm. All yeah. right, um, I want to talk about some of the pros and cons you've listed, Ryan. Is that okay? Be more okay. All right, thank you. So... You say the pacing is very good and that there are lots of surprises. Um, without yeah. spoiling the, the plot, are you able to give any clue as to what the surprises are? Well, no. I'll okay. The viewers watch themselves. Brilliant. But if you like, if you like uh, surprise and tension, then this yeah. is a good watch. Mm. Okay. Uh, your cons, basically, you just talk about it being adult content. So I suppose you're saying it's not family friendly, or it wouldn't be suitable for small children. Oh no, definitely knows that um, are animal lovers. Do you, do you mean it would be upsetting for animal lovers? Yeah, well, some cases because my god, they shown a lot of it. Like, like a sample, they had one of the um, people the worst there got their arm chopped off. Or they hire like beautiful women to like pose with the animals. Right. Or or one of the um other owners um lived a Playboy lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Or 
go to some animal activists, which they are actually like, oh, meant to be the other villain of the documentary. <laughs> he literally like was actually in this for the right reason, other than Joe. Okay. Yeah. So there's not really many characters to take to like to uh, to find comfort in. They're all pretty bad. Yeah. Okay. But basically, in a short in short note, in yes. short doses, I'll say like this: that no, no people they are either good or bad. They're basically like people that some people showing that animal cruelty can happen in the United States. Uh-huh. In other, any other country. Okay, that's a takeaway. And is it? Okay. People do whatever they do to abuse these animals. I suppose if they've got money, they can get away with all sorts of things. I assume these are quite wealthy people. So, but it was like one of them, guys, like, I remember one of them, the one with a arm um, like chopped off. I think he, she was interviewed. In um, um, like a garbage disposal at a junkyard. Intriguing. All right. So you've given us some interesting tidbits there, Ryan. You finished watching the seven episodes, have you? Yes, finally. Okay. How long is each episode, Ryan? I'll say about like fifty plus minutes long. Okay, so it's almost an hour per episode. So it's. Potentially a six to seven hour watch, the whole thing, if you're going to binge it. Yeah. Is it binge worthy? Can you watch one episode after the other? Well, I'll say yes. To get ready for people to like to watch seven episodes of absolute craziness. Okay. Yeah, people might want to pace themselves if it's crazy and also a bit dark. Yeah, but I love how you wrote. I can't believe. How far they done to the poor innocent animals. Okay. I almost feel a bit conflicted, Ryan, finding it entertainment from the suffering of these animals. Hopefully the program is about the humans uh, being brought to justice or there being some justice done for the animals. But okay. we need to watch the program to find out how it ends. Oh, yeah. Um, you, you say in your review, Ryan, that it's fascinating and insanely entertaining. So for me, that's a great combination. It sounds like the sort of thing I would value watching. So I will see if I get the opportunity to watch it. And as you very helpfully say at the end of your review that it's on Netflix. So is that the only place to see it? Yes, indeed. Okay, so if anyone wants to see Tiger King, Murder, Mayhem and Madness, it's available on Netflix. And if anyone would like to leave any feedback for Ryan on this yeah. review, uh, you can go to rdbreviews.wordpress.com. Sure, you okay. can find the Tiger King review that Ryan has posted, and you can leave a comment if you think yeah. Ryan has been helpful. All right, Ryan, thank you very much for talking Tiger King for us. Yeah. All right, so I'm on Ryan's rdbreviews.wordpress.com page, and I'm going to click on South Park Season 11. Wow, big picture, Ryan. So Ryan has posted a huge uh, picture. I'm just going to show the viewers. Uh, This is Ryan's throwback reviews, season 11, 2007. So as I've mentioned in my previous video, Ryan does these throwback reviews to look at the origins of something. Uh, So he's gone back from the beginning of South Park to the present day. So South Park season 11. I'm going to read what it says on Ryan's review, and then we can ask Ryan some questions about it. The genre is animated sitcom and comedy. I'll say now, anyone who's not a South Park fan might not follow this review, but if you are a South Park fan, you definitely know that it's comedy because it's fantastic satire. Uh, Very pleased that Ryan is watching South Park. Uh, So Ryan has said about the plot, and this is talking about the whole series. So Ryan says, The 11th series of Trey Parker and Matt Stone's envelope-pushing satire, South Park, is highlighted by the three-part episode titled Imagination Land, which is excellent. I love Imagination Land, which follows Eric, Kyle, Stan, and Kenny as they battle to save the world in an imaginary land while Eric attempts to collect 
on a bet from Kyle after he proves that leprechauns are real. Again, I'm going to let people read the whole thing on your review. They don't okay. need me to read it. I'm just going to take some snippets here. So, okay. pros. Positives, yeah. Ryan says, about season 11, South Park. Ryan says, this season adds scale down uh, to 14 episodes, made it a tighter, uh, enjoyable experience. So, the number of episodes came down for this season, which you approve of. Uh, this season was my favorite episode called More Crap. Imagination Land Saga and Ones Like the Snake, 24 parody and a parody of the Romeo's Night of the Living Dead series uh, with the homeless called Night of the Living Homeless. I love that one as well. Is that the one where everyone goes, change, change, I need change. 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 Yeah, good fun. Again, if you're not a South Park fan, you're probably not following this. Yeah. If you are, hopefully you're geeking out along with me and Ryan. Uh, oh, Ryan said, on. Watch it. Well, I mean, you've got to it's find the time, genius. right? It is genius. Well done, Ryan. Cons. So this is what Ryan takes issue with. Let's see. I oh, feel that some we the just go Sorry, no, Barry. So everyone is saying. Sorry, I'm going to read your con. Yep. Ryan says, I feel that some of the content can go too mean-spirited. Some of the pacing in a few episodes was too fast. And I wish a lot of the other imagination characters from the imagination three part got a lot more time. So you really enjoyed imagination land. Yeah. And uh, can you name a character that you wanted to see more of? Ah, oh, Captain Planet. Captain Planet. I don't remember him being in the episode. I remember Captain Planet well, as a stand cartoon. So Ryan, how how many more series of South Park have you got to review? Right. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22, and 23, which I just finished. Wow. So you've well, actually watched all up until 23, mm -hmm. and you're going to be writing throwback reviews for each of them? Yes. How long do you think that will take, Ryan? Oh, God. I'll say about just before the end of the year. Okay, brilliant. So you've got, you're planning long term. So <laughs> you've seen them. Do you think it might be a bit hard to write about them if you uh, have watched them all now? Will you remember things to say about them? Well, it is um, might get a bit harder. For me to like try and remember from each season to season, but I do. The only one is those are the one of the occasion where I brought it on myself, really. So that's like that's why it's now my responsibility to direct my public. I'm with you. Okay, <laughs> well. I made this point because I've said this to Ryan when we work together at Level Best, that Ryan is a brilliant film reviewer, in part because he watches everything. Um, Ryan watches all the, the big releases. Yeah. Obviously, there's not going to be any cinema releases for a while now, so oh, it's God. good that you're doing the throwbacks. Um, but Ryan watches everything and reviews everything like a good film reviewer should. Can I ask, Ryan, do you make notes about what you're going to talk about, or do you keep it all up in your, your head? Keep it up in my head. Wow, so that's a lot of information for South Park yeah. for you to remember if you're going to write reviews. Well, I will be looking at your RDB reviews page uh, often, and if other people want to check in, uh, look out for Season 12 of South Park. Do you know when your Season 12 review will be coming out, Ryan? Not really, because of right now I'm just like chilling out and chilling and just do process. Um, how to balance all my other stuff out. Okay, yeah, because you are doing art projects with Level Best as well. Can I ask, Ryan, for people that haven't been to your uh, WordPress, your RDB reviews, how often do you post? Sometimes it's either a couple of days or probably where I am feel like I'm ready to review these things. Yeah. Or when I actually finish the actual series or film. Okay, so when you've finished watching something, you're ready to review it. That's right. You shouldn't review something if you haven't seen it all the way through. 
but you say every couple of days you update yeah. your blog yeah okay can i ask ryan what are you working on now what will be the next post the last is on of book two which is actually season two on netflix of this fam is it's a family friendly um animated show mm -hmm. about basically the last four kids on planet earth trying to survive the apocalypse wow okay is this episodic or is it a um, film yeah like this is like 10 episodes oh 10 episodes okay that's good so have you watched all 10 episodes no, but I got through episode one last yeah. night. Okay, so you won't be posting a review of that until you've watched all ten episodes, or are you going to write about episode one? Why? No, I'm going to write to write about episode ten. So we know episode ten, episode two. Just wait the whole series to finish. Right. Okay. So you're making perhaps notes about number two, but you're yeah. going to wait till the whole thing is watched. And then write about the whole series. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we maybe won't expect that for a while because you've got to watch it and think about it. Yeah. Okay. Great. Well, Ryan, it's been really lovely chatting to you about your reviews. Yeah, it's lovely to speak to you too. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. And I hope that we make this routine. Okay.